Understanding Learning Curves, A Detailed Overview What is a learning curve? A learning curve is a mathematical concept that illustrates the relationship between the amount of experience or practice an individual or organization has and the efficiency with which tasks are performed. The learning curve theory posits that tasks become easier and require fewer resources as they are repeated over time due to the skills and efficiencies gained throughout the learning process. Historical Background The concept of the learning curve was first described by psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus in 1885. Since its introduction, the learning curve has gained substantial traction as a measure of production efficiency and is often employed to forecast costs associated with labor and materials for various industries. Today, it is used in multiple fields, including education, manufacturing, and organizational development. Key Takeaways The learning curve is a visual tool demonstrating the time taken to acquire new skills or knowledge. In a business context, the slope of the learning curve indicates the rate at which skill acquisition translates into cost savings for a company. The improvement rate is commonly expressed as a percentage, where a steeper slope signifies greater cost savings per unit produced. A deeper understanding of learning curves. The learning curve is also known by various terms such as experience curve, cost curve, efficiency curve, or productivity curve. This nomenclature reflects its broad applicability in measuring costs and improvements across different areas of a business. The Mechanism of the Learning Curve Every employee, regardless of their role, requires time to master specific tasks. Initially, the output produced has a high associated cost due to the learning phase. However, with repeated execution, time requirements drop significantly as employees become proficient. Thus, the graph representing a learning curve typically slopes downward initially before starting to flatten as increased efficiencies become harder to attain. Visuals of learning curves depict cost per unit on the y-axis and total output on the x-axis. Initially, as learning increases, costs per unit decrease sharply but eventually reach a plateau where the cost savings realized through learning become marginal. Learning Curve Percentages the learning curve is often quantified using percentages representing the rate of improvement. For instance, a 90% learning curve indicates that for every doubling of cumulative production, there is a 10% improvement in cumulative average production time per unit. In simpler terms, it states the percentage of time that will carry over to future iterations of a task as production volumes increase. Learning Curve Formula the core relationship behind the learning curve can be expressed mathematically through the formula. y equals ax to the power of b. Where? y equals cumulative average time per unit or batch. a equals time taken to produce the initial quantity. x equals the cumulative units of production or the cumulative number of batches. b equals the slope or learning curve index, expressed as b equals log, learning curve percentage, slash log, 2. Calculating learning curves. To illustrate the learning curve's application, let's consider an example with an 80% learning curve. Assuming the first completion of a task took 1000 hours, the calculations proceed as follows. 1. First task completion. y equals 1001 carat, log, 0.80, slash log, 2, equals 1,000 hours. 2, second task, cumulative output equals 2. y equals 1,002 carat, log, 0 0.80, slash log, 2, equals 1,000 0.8 is equal to 800 hours. 3, third and fourth task, cumulative output equals 4. y equals 1,004 carat, log, 0 0.80, slash log, 2, equals 1000.64 is equal to 640 hours. The total for four tasks sums to 2560 hours, demonstrating how the second task required 600 hours less than the first, and the average time continues to decrease with each additional task. Learning Curve Table 
learning curves can become intricate when differentiating between various metrics such as cumulative quantities, cumulative production time, cumulative average production time, and incremental production time. Therefore, it is common practice to compile this information into a learning curve table for clarity and ease of understanding. Cumulative tasks cumulative time, hours, average per task, hours. 1 1000 1000. 2 1800 900. 4 2560 640. Using a learning curve table allows decision makers to easily comprehend the benefits of increased production and skill acquisition over time. It also aids in cost accounting and helps firms better anticipate labor expenses for future projects. Conclusion Understanding the learning curve is pivotal for businesses aiming to optimize costs and improve production. By recognizing the dynamics of learning and efficiency, organizations can better plan their training and production strategies. The learning curve provides valuable insights, not only into how skills are acquired but also into how these skills translate into tangible economic benefits, ultimately fostering a culture of continuous improvement.